For starters, what should I call you? I'm Chloe. And you, what's your name? Oh, uh, John. My name is John. Delighted to meet you, John. When it comes to industrial robots, Japan is light years ahead of the rest of the globe because it's home to seven of the world's top ten robot manufacturers. The country is a global leader in cutting-edge technologies including machine learning, algorithms and artificial intelligence, where the successful creation of robotic hardware depends on these technologies. So, to share Japan's latest vision with you, today we're going to share the details of the public availability of the robots that can get pregnant. That's right, here's what we know. Japan is unquestionably at the forefront of industrial robotics, since the country is the world's leading exporter of robots in terms of both shipment volume and active units. The country is still used as a proving ground for novel robotics applications. Meanwhile, industrial robotics in Japan are being advanced by companies including Kawasaki, Fanuc, OTC Daihen, Epson, Denso and Mitsubishi. Japan is also a major centre for startups and the technology industry. As a result, the country has experienced a steady influx of foreign investment. If one looks at the numbers, Japan is way out in front when it comes to shipping robots compared to other economies. Nowadays, Japan dominates the robotics industry thanks to cutting-edge R&D and practical applications. The rapid advancement of robotics technology has thus the potential to radically alter Japanese society. It's also worth noting that Japan has been heavily invested in the field of robotics research and development since the 1970s. The electronics and automotive industries were among the earliest adopters of industrial robotics. Yet industrial robotics proved essential in other sectors as a means of easing workers' physical workloads. And of course, now for the big reveal of today, where Japan has managed to not only create a bot that is capable of bearing children, but has also made it available to the public. A fully working robot wife has been made available for purchase in Japan. It's possible that the price of $345,000 will dissuade you from purchasing the item. On the contrary side, the underground corporation makes use of it as a source of its funding by exploiting it. A single robot can be purchased for $1 million, but no one will be able to buy it. Or you are only able to buy it if you have been extended an invitation to do so. On the other hand, this female bot can perform tasks such as cooking, cleaning, expressing nice things, doing chores and even getting pregnant in an artificial womb. Whereas, these are just some of the things it's capable of doing. But at the other end of it all, a lot of people think that this means the end of women's rights. Or is it? Meanwhile, Japan has long been at the forefront of robotics research, and the country's leaders have set their sights on expanding robots' presence in everyday life. Many Japanese homes wouldn't be complete without one. Not to mention, even workplace safety has increased, while output and quality are both enhanced, thanks to Japanese robots. Also, a really gentle yet quick reminder for our viewers, to make sure that you're in the loop for our future content, make sure to slam the bell icon. Having said that, let's now look at the example of one of the most famous and publicly adored female robots in Japan, who goes by the name of Erika. Erika, who is regarded as one of the most attractive and clever humanoids, is bringing about a revolution in the robot culture of Japan. The Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International, Osaka University and the University of Kyoto have all worked together on the development of this highly advanced humanoid. Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro, who works in the Intelligent Robotics Laboratory at Osaka University, serves as a leader of the team that created Erika. Professor Ishiguro drew inspiration from the faces of 30 stunning ladies while designing the attributes of Erika's face. Erika is now able to answer queries with facial expressions that are eerily similar to those of humans. Meanwhile, Erika's speech has also improved, and she is now better able to comprehend and react to queries. Whereas, the Atroid Woman is a groundbreaking example of a real machine that is comparable to the machines known as androids or gynoids in science fiction novels, which of course, Japan has now turned into a reality. Until now, these terms have only been attributed to fictional robots but the Atroid Woman proves that they can be applied to real machines as well. The Atroid F telepresence robot is further capable of mimicking a variety of important activities, including blinking, speaking and breathing amongst others. Basically everything that a human does, just better. The reply models are thus interactive robots with artificial intelligence that can recognise and understand speech and answer in a manner that is comparable to how humans would. Hence, as a society, we have reached a stage in Japanese robots known as ultra-hyper-realistic facial movement. They are paying attention to the tiniest of details, such as the faintest of frowns and smiles, as well as right and left glances. 
However, with an increase in female bots, people have a growing and intrinsic fear of non-living entities moving in human-like forms, which is basically a phenomenon known as the Uncanny Valley. But, of course, Japanese technology isn't going anywhere at any time. Let's just say that it's something that nature has implanted in us. It is not feasible to avoid being exposed to it. If the form is constructed to be significantly more beautiful than is physically achievable, then the fear can be conquered. Because of this, hyperrealistic skin has garnered a lot of attention recently. The rise of hyperrealistic appearances paved the way for hyperrealistic words, and now hyperrealistic feelings are following suit. So, there are a few facts to know about female robots in Japanese culture, where the value of the global market for industrial robots was estimated to be $8.497 billion in 2011, with Japanese companies accounting for 50.2% of the total. In the next 15 years, Japan anticipates that the field of robotics will employ more than 1 million people, with earnings that exceed $70 billion. This is not only due to Japan's high-level technology, but also to the effect of the country's robot culture. Since that time, Japan has been the birthplace of a great number of automated creations, such as the Mazinga Z Gundam, Robotech, Evangelion Transformers, and a great many more. Aside from that, were you aware that the humanoid robot Sophia has over 600 posts and 166,000 followers on the social media platform Instagram? Well, our best assumption is that she is the one responsible for publishing them, or it's also possible that the corporation is doing it to sell their product. Honestly, in hindsight, we have high hopes that she will be satisfied with it. And if she is, perhaps she will also be satisfied with the fact that we are now fully capable of creating robots that are capable of doing all the activities that a human is capable of, such as one of the industry's functional human-like robots in Japan, right? It would be quite safe to say that for decades now, Japanese researchers have been at the forefront of the effort to make human companion robots a reality, and now it has surely become our reality. So, what do you think of this new female bot that can not only bear children, but is capable of everything that a human can do? Do let us know in the comments below, while making sure you hit the bell icon for future updates. On for future